So my name is Larry Pico. Um, I am primarily a scalp trader via options uh, in the beta stocks, and I've been trading for a little over two years now. So I came in with Dan with about eight thousand dollars in last June, so not even almost a year. Um, and originally I was trading with small caps because that's all my account could do. Uh, at some point I heard guys in the room talking about options, and I just jumped in didn't know what i was doing figured it out myself and in the last couple of months i've turned that eight thousand and today i'm up to seventy three thousand um trading options via uh beta stocks um uh, via the ps60 theory I, I think dan's and he said it a couple of times i think dan's biggest positive about him I mean, he has a lot but i think the biggest one is pre-market knowing market sentiment before the market starts so going into the day, knowing that, hey, watch out, there's going to be a trap here, or hey, we're probably going to go higher today, or we're probably going to go lower today, that gives me so much more confidence than I ever could have, and right now especially. Um, I mean, the pivots, you can teach them pretty quickly, but it's all the moving parts, especially that market sentiment that's biggest to me. Um, and, and prior, I didn't know where to enter or where to exit a stock. I was using VWAP, which is okay. Um, but now you can see the landmines. It's almost like pulling back the matrix to the, to the stock market. Um, you see where to start, where to stop, where there's possibly you should get out at. It's a lot more confidence going into a trade with that. And that's been my biggest help with the PS60 Ethereum with Dan. Dan's process is very structured. Uh, there's clear entries, clear exits before it was, hey, if it gets to this VWAP, look to see if it bounces. It was very vague. Um, now we understand exactly where, like I said, the landmines are at. Um, you understand going into a trade what the measure potential is, which is huge for an option person. I, I can't take a dollar measure potential. I need a couple dollars there to be able to work into the trade uh, for it to be worth it because options you know, move sporadically. They don't move just like the equity does. So uh, with that, that's big time difference. You know the clear cut entries and exits. Does it do it every time? Absolutely not. But I would say 80 to 90% of the time it does and you just don't be greedy. Take money along the way like Dan always says. That's been my biggest thing. It takes risk off of the trade uh, and puts money in your in your bank. You may not hit the home run every time, but you're hitting a lot of singles, a lot of doubles, every once in a while a triple, and uh, they add up for sure. You don't need to trade every day. You don't need to trade every minute. You don't need to trade before 945. Be patient. Let the trades come to you. Uh, turn off your P&L. That's been one that I've fought with forever, and I'm just now getting over. Don't look how much you're up and down. It's set, a lot of these lessons are a lot easier said than done, you know, and it's just going through it and watching a professional of 20 years like Dan to do it every day to understand where I need to be, even if I'm not there today. Hopefully I'm there tomorrow or next month. When I first came with Dan, I was training small cap stocks. Um, even though he was pushing me towards the betas, uh, I kept on asking about the small caps because that's what you're used to as a first time trader. And, uh, and eventually when I came in, I, I kind of veered towards the option side. And since then, I've been pr primarily in the last three months trading just Amazon, Tesla, Boeing, and Roku. And that's about it. And once you can laser focus in on a stock and, and how it trades um, and understanding the option side of things, you can really leverage your money. And that's what I have been able to do. I've been able to hook up with other traders, both with more experience and less experience with me, um, just sharing ideas. That's what's great with the room. There's never any negativity in the room. It's always positivity. It's like, hey, maybe you could have done this better. Don't get yourself, don't get down on yourself. You know, it's really a positive, upbeat, but educational um, thing that I've endeavored on. The community definitely is a big part of this. Uh, I've talked to people with more experience that I'm asking questions to, but I'm also uh, answering questions to people. And that just as much as asking the questions, if you have to teach someone something or explain something, you need to know that information that much better. And that has really helped me recently. Dan sent me a few newer members and I've tried to explain where I've came from, what I'm doing, you know what I mean, to make myself successful. And that seems to really have helped me because I need to stay grounded, to stay focused, to be able to explain to someone else. But it really is a tight-knit community. We help each other out as much as possible. 
Uh, and Dan is kind of our, you know, our leader. He, he gets us through the tough times. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great thing. I'm so blessed to have stumbled upon this by some podcast, which is just amazing to me because there's so much fakeness out there. And this is the least fake thing I've ever been a part of. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, it's really changing my life. I'm in the, I feel like the very front part of a big, big change coming. I've been very, very consistent recently. Uh, I've had only one or two red days in the last month. Um, I'm making, in 15 minutes, I'm making a month's salary almost every day in the last month, which is insane. So thank you.